the time to money in tech is longer than most things. So ARM, the ARM architecture was invented four or five years before ARM, the company, was created. ARM went public eight years after it was founded, so the elapsed time there is 13 years. Funding that and keeping it going is very hard, and at the moment if you're in serious hardware, the sort of stuff that ARM does, venture capital money is less available for that sort of thing. Because of Facebooks and media and social media, for the venture capitalists of this world, uh, there's a faster return, perhaps with less risk. So, uh, and again, I sit on the advisory board of Amadeus, which is one of the other things I do, and actually the biospace is a more hot space than the sort of hard tech space. Um, so what I'd say to any tech entrepreneur is, have you got a vision that can really change the world? Let's start there. And ha can you see how you can be the world's best at what you do? And if you can't tell me how you can be the world's best at what you're going to do, go back and do the business plan again. If you're just going to be a me too or why waste your time? So have you got a vision on how you're going to be the world's best? So one of the problems is raising the money. But if your vision is good enough and if the team are good enough and you can be the world's first, you can still do it as well as, as well as ever you could. But it's harder, and again, in terms of raising money, people like me, as angels, it's easier to get money from me, but don't come running after this video. It's easier to get money from me than going to venture capitalists. So there's always, and when ARM started, it started at the bottom of a recession, raising money was hard. So I think starting when times are tough, with a good vision, you can do it. So the other thing is the, the opportunity. So if we look at, if we look at biology and electronics and the human body and connecting and health monitoring and energy control and all these things, the opportunities are as big as they've ever been. And if you're the world's best, you can still do it. But don't don't bother if you're me too. Just you know, go and do some go and do something else. And and but 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 you know we're in a period when when the economies of the world improve, there'll be more venture capital available. That's just that's just time. And and then the other thing is I think. To create a business, uh, one of the problems I have with some of the startups I have, most of the people I know are very good technologically speaking, but to make a business successful, you need a powerful business partner. And in the, in the UK in particular, there's a bigger shortage of battle-scarred, globally aware business partners than there are anything else, right? So, as I'm saying, Tim O'Donnell in Silicon Valley, who I had worked with before, he was critical to getting the first purchase orders from ARM or Takeo Ishikawa in Japan. So it, it, that's the other thing I say to the startups is get the money from the customer. If you can solve a real problem for somebody who will give you a purchase order that's a good company, you're on the right track.